After two candidates dropped out of the race on Thursday, there are now four who are vying for the Iranian presidency. Among them is Masoud Pazizkian, the only reformist candidate. An MP and former Minister of Health, the 69-year-old surgeon is renowned for his outspokenness. I promise to put an end to the unjust behaviour of the morality police towards our daughters, sisters and mothers on the street. Up against him is Mohammed Bagher Halibaf, a well-known conservative. The former mayor of Tehran has served as parliament speaker for the past four years and has already thrown his hat in the ring for the presidency three times. We will not hesitate to demand the rights of our people. God willing, we will remove this heavy burden, this dark shadow of economic sanctions hanging over our country. Also in the running is hardline diplomat and former nuclear negotiator Saeed Jalili. Known for his anti-West stance, Jalili has voiced his concerns about former US President Donald Trump. Trump hasn't taken office yet. But our political rivals are asking, if he wins, what are you going to do? They are scared, and they want others to be scared too. We're the ones who are going to fight him. The only cleric in the running is Mostafa Pumahamadi, a former interior minister, aged 64. According to Human Rights Watch, he is among those responsible for the execution of hundreds of political prisoners in Iran in the late 1980s.